Hi there, I have a cut up chicken here and I'm going to show you how to freeze it properly, wrap it properly and then how to defrost it so that you won't lose uh, the meat or the chicken and you'll always have good food in your freezer and not worry about whether it's good or not. So the first thing I do, this chicken that I cut up, we did a video on the cut up chicken, you might want to refer to that. Uh, I have all the parts of a large chicken, the breast, the thighs, the bones, etc. So what I do first is I have proper bags for, for uh, freezing, but I take a piece of wax paper. You can use saran. I like wax paper. You tear a nice piece. You put the piece of chicken on. Give it a good wrap. Make sure it's all covered. Covered well by the wax paper. This is a freezer bag. You know, the market uh, baggies don't work because they're not properly, they're not thick enough, and these are meant for freezing. I could put one or two. Now, they leave a piece of uh, white marking where you can label it, so... All right. Now, I will squeeze all the air out of it, seal it, and pop it in the freezer. Now, if you... And the reason I use wax paper is because if you just froze it by itself, it's not good enough. If you use two breasts, you want it to be separated. You don't want it to be stuck together. So ideally, always wrap each piece individually in wax paper, and you won't have a problem. You can pull one out at a time. Now, we can go on to defrosting. I have, I want to show you something. Um, I took out something here from my freezer, and what we're going to do is put it not into the microwave, but into some lukewarm water. Let's say you took out a piece of chicken the night before, and you came home from work, you defrosted it in the free, uh, refrigerator, I'm sorry, and then it's not quite defrosted. You take that out that's been wrapped properly, just like this, and we're going to submerge it. And so let me show you how that's done. You know, I've noted four chicken drumsticks, I labeled it when I froze it in February. It's frozen, and I didn't take it out earlier. But it's a small bag, so I put water in a large container, and I'm going to submerge it in the water. Now, sometimes it'll pop up, and I'll take something heavy, like, I don't know, a glass, you know, a container like this to keep it underwater, like this. That works, but otherwise it'll be. Give it a, maybe 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you could give it a flip, but usually it makes it soft enough. You might feel it through the package, and if it's soft enough, pop it open, and it'll be fine for whatever you want, you know, and it'll be absolutely delicious depending on what you're gonna do with it. Trust me, it, this works, and it's safe.